Hello everyone, I'm Ronnie J here from Internet Radio Station. I decided to do a video response to a question I received from a listener. And it's a very good question. And the question is, uh, the listener says, I like some classical and contemporary, but I love fusion, acid, smooth, and funk jazz. How can you tell if the artist is playing one from another? One minute they are playing funk, and the next they will be playing smooth, or etc. I think I know what the uh, listener is asking. Uh, how do you basically know uh, what genre of song is being played? Well, that's not a very easy question to answer because it's going to depend upon the originator of the stream. If the person uh, is streaming music, say, using Winamp, uh, it's not very easy uh, within a Winamp. In fact, it's not even possible within a Winamp to set the genre of a song. There are basically two ways to set the genre of a song so that when listeners are listening to that particular song, they would know whether it's uh, acid jazz, smooth jazz, rock, whatever. Let me show you the uh, first way, and that's basically uh, looking at the songs themselves. So I'm going to show you a portion of my music library, and let me pull it in here for you. Here's an album by uh, Bonnie James, The Beat. So let me uh, open up that folder to reveal the contents of it. It will be all of the songs within that album. And what you can do, uh, what the person who is originating the stream normally will do, uh, he will go in, he or she will go in, they'll right click on the song, they'll select properties, and go to the details tab. And they will set the uh, name of the artist, the title of the song, the album title, and down here where it says genre, they'll come here and they'll set the genre. For example, uh, this is a, uh, I'll make this smooth jazz also. Then click OK. And what I've just done, let's go back in there so you can see the changes there. I've set the genre for that song to smooth jazz. So when this song is streamed out over the internet, uh, this is the genre that will show up. Now, this would have to be done for each and every song. So if you've got 3,000, 5,000 songs in your music library, you would have to do that for each and every song. Now, there there is software out there that will automate the process for you. Uh, I'll cover that in another video, but uh, this is one way of doing it. Another way of doing it is within the streaming software itself. Now, you know that I use Sam Broadcaster. I think one would be uh, unwise to use anything else, personally. That's my opinion. But once you import all of your songs into Sam Broadcaster, you can go into Sam Broadcaster and set the genre as well. And uh, over here, these are all the songs within my music library for smooth jazz and acid jazz, for example, and cool jazz and just jazz, as indicated by the smooth jazz folder. If I were to take a song here, and let's say select that selected right click and do song info brings up this window here and this particular album is by a group called two men for soul and obviously it's an acid jazz classics or it comes from the acid jazz classics album but here where it says genre acid jazz is selected if this happened to be a smooth jazz song then i could change that i can pull this down and scroll down and find smooth jazz or jazz funk or I can come up here and I can type in the genre smooth jazz and then click OK so if I go back in there and look at that song see here the genre is set so when that song is streamed from Sam Broadcaster out over the internet that's the genre that the uh, listener will see now Depending on the software that you're using to listen to the streams, uh, that plays a very important factor too because some of that software will not uh, show the genre. It, they, they will basically just show the music title and the name of the artist and that's it. Let me give you an example. For example, one of the, the popular programs used to listen to streams is Winamp. And I'm going to pull in Winamp here, which I think is great because it's a free player. If you start Winamp and install it, uh, normally it will come looking like that if you configure it. 
if you pull down this area right here where it says expand window you'll get this and over on the left hand side under online services you want to select that and you get this window here and you can type in the different radio stations that you want to listen to uh, for example if I type in radio there should be two streams and I have two streams running here I have a uh, one running at uh, 128 kilobits per second and a second stream running at 96 kilobits per second. If I clicked on one of these, Winamp will attach to that stream and play it. And Winamp has a built-in equalizer. It is a very, very nice tool. You have different presets for your equalizer. And I'll generate another video showing how to use Winamp. It's great. Tell me. But also, there are many, many other radio stations. And the main thing I want to highlight here is notice that uh, even though the song is being streamed from my Sam Broadcaster, it's not telling the listener what the genre is. It's simply showing the name of the artist and the name of the song. And also that it's emanating from Rip Radio Smooth Jazz. Again, on this side here, it's showing the name of the artist and the name of the song. If I typed in, say, smooth jazz, this is a generic keyword. Rip Radio goes out to the shoutcast directory and it pulls in a whole lot of uh, smooth jazz radio stations here. And when it comes to the top here, it's smoothjazz.com. They're very good. If I were to click on that, when it will attach to that stream, and again, notice, same thing. Uh, that website is going to only show you the name of the artist that's currently playing and the name of the song. It does not show you the genre. That burden is basically on you, the listener. Uh, you have to know whether or not a song is smooth jazz or jazz or cool jazz or not. And it's also going to depend upon the originator of the stream. For example, myself. If I'm streaming songs, then I have to be, then the burden falls upon me to correctly tag those songs as smooth jazz, cool jazz, jazz, and a lot of your internet radio station owners simply aren't concerned about that. If they reason that they're going to be setting up a rock radio station, for example, then it stands to reason that that's all they're going to be playing is rock music. So they're just assuming that the listeners tuning in will know that what they're streaming is rock music. I try to be a little bit more proactive on it. I uh, do my best to correctly tag all of my songs as being just straight jazz or mainstream jazz, cool jazz, funk jazz, fusion. And it often takes, it's also very labor intensive because if you're a music library, say like 10,000 songs, you have to imagine, you have to go through each and every song, either one by one or within Sam Broadcaster and properly tag the genre of those songs. So I hope that helped the listener understand uh, that uh, this is a two-way street when it comes to tagging the songs. Preferably, uh, the radio station owner should properly tag the genre of his or her songs. All right, so this is Ronnie J from InternetRadioStation.com. Thank you for listening.